South Korea's exports surpassed 50 billion U.S. dollars for the fifth straight month. The government data show a rebound from the dismal figures recorded in June, so this could be a sign of strength in the local economy. Kim Jeon breaks down the digits for us. Korea's exports surpassed the 50 billion U.S. dollar mark last month, recovering from a dip recorded in June. The Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy said Wednesday the country's exports recorded nearly $52 billion in July, an increase of more than 6 percent from the same period last year. This is a big improvement compared to June, when exports dipped by nearly 0.2 percent on year. Ten of the 13 main export items saw increases, including petroleum and petrochemical goods, steel, semiconductors, machinery and computers. Semiconductor exports in particular increased for the third consecutive month in July, surpassing $10 billion, the fourth highest monthly record ever. Exports of computers also increased for the 16th straight month in July. A global shortage of semiconductors has continued since the end of 2016. Prospects are good for Korea's semiconductor exports in the latter half of this year as well, with unit prices expected to stay at the current level. Meanwhile, exports in shipbuilding dropped by a staggering 73.4 percent, followed by home appliances, which dropped by nearly 16 percent on year last month. Auto exports dipped for the sixth straight month in July, falling by 13.5 percent from July last year as shipments to Korea's biggest auto export market, the U.S., slumped, following U.S. import restrictions. The auto sector is also affected by changes to Korea's labor rules, including shorter working hours. But as we adjust to the changes, the ministry thinks auto exports will recover in the second half. Exports to China and South American countries increased the most, growing by around 27 percent and 23 percent, respectively. Exports to the ASEAN region and India dipped due to increased local competition. Imports also increased by more than 16 percent in July on year to record nearly $45 billion. The trade surplus for July was more than $7 billion. It was the 78th straight month it has been in surplus. The ministry cites favorable economic conditions for the global manufacturing sector, increases in gross domestic product among major economies, and increases in unit prices of major exporting goods for the strong export figures. Kim Tian, Arirang News.